Here, take a good look at that. Gotta find where this is. Gotta find this thing is. This is a Monte Cristi Fino, Fino or Super Fino quality Panama body. So when you get a, uh, a Panama hat, uh, here's, a, here's a Panama hat. Um, where's another typical one? Okay, here's a hmm, typical Panama hat, I guess. When you get a Panama hat like this, they all start off like this. Pretty much every felt hat and straw hat starts out a body. Now the difference between these are, these are hand woven, they're woven by hands, just like knitting a sweater. Um, they start in the center, the concentric rings, they have these big magnifying glass loop things, and they start in the center and they take the straw and they, they flatten it, they match the colors, they split it, and they basically just thread it, you know, in and out, like a lady knitting a sweater on the train. It's the same thing, but it's so small, it's like almost microscopic. Um, I'm using an iPad Pro, it's got pretty good resolution here. And if you could see in person what it looks like, this is exactly one foot away from the screen. You can see it looks like, it's pretty much like cloth almost. There's one, two, about a meter away, it's, it's a little overexposed, but it's basically, it looks almost completely like opaque, like solid, you know. When you see a Monte Cristi Fino, okay, there's a difference between a Monte Cristi and a Monte Cristi Fino. Finos are the ones that are woven in the town of Monte Cristi and they have the really expensive prices generally. The Finos have a special edge. The edge is not just like folded over and hemmed down with a sewing machine and cut with a scissor. That's how they do most edges, like a cheaper Panama. See what they do? They cut it and they sew it down. They keep it from unraveling. They hem it, they hem it over. A Monte Cristi Fino or a Super Fino, a Fino Fino, a museum quality, whatever you're talking about. Um, they have a special weaver that comes in to just finish the hat. When they get to the end, that person weaves it back into itself. So there is indeed no seam there. There's no hem. It just goes back into itself and they just close it. And nobody knows how to do this except these Monte Cristi Fino weavers. And they're getting older and older and they're dying out and they're not passing on the tradition. So they're getting more expensive. What used to be 500 became 750, then it became 1,000, then 1,200 and 1,500. They're just getting harder to find, harder to find extra wide brims, open weaves with, you know, designs. We don't have any open weaves here now, but uh, they're almost like a doily. They have like pictures of feathers and stars and arrows that are actually holes weaving in, weaves it, like woven in like a negative space. Uh, you can see a pheno, you really always have that edge, that's number one, okay? I've got the Fino edge, and number two, I have two signatures made in ballpoint pen. And you can see one there. Okay, that's one. Let's see if we can find the other. Is that it there? Sometimes they're very faded. Yeah, I think that's it right there. But it's just really faded, this one. Anyway. You know, a hat like this, depending on where you get it, it could run between, I'm going to say, $1,500 and $3,000. This is extreme. You know, a lot of people are very quick to say, oh, it's phenol quality or super phenol. You have to check it. And um, this is, I believe they said this was super phenol or phenol phenol. Now I forget. It doesn't really matter. It's really, really fine and finer than like everything else we have, uh, except for maybe one or two. And um, those are sort of private reserve bodies. So this is something that, this is the way Panama hat comes out of Ecuador. They all come from Ecuador, unfinished. Some of them are finished, uh, but they're not known for finishing these hats. They're generally, they'll go to the USA, to Italy, or someplace else, Spain. You know, a country where there's a hat maker who will turn this body into a hat. Um, you know, generally it'll have a, a band, a pinch, you know, things like that, a brim.
that snaps up and down, a sweatband inside of cloth, ribbon, or leather, and it's sized and stiffened. Gotta put some stiffener on there. Um, Monte Christie's, they tend to use very little. It's nice when they do it on the brim so it snaps, but not so much on the crown, so the crown is very soft. And But the, there is always some. You can't really make a shape. You can't shape a hat without a little bit of stiffener. It's just, it's just the way it's done. But they use a very thin one that feels almost like nothing. And it protects the, the shape from opening up when it becomes humid. You know, they'll just open like a flower if, if you have a pinch front. And as soon as it gets humid, it would open up without any stiffness. So you need some. Anyway, that's what a real serious Panama looks like. Things to look for, obviously, is fineness of weave, roundness of shape. The edge shouldn't be too bumpy and erratic. A lot of them are. This one is not. If you get really close, maybe it looks a little uneven. very nice round shape in general. It looks like one little bump right there at the top at 12 o'clock. It's so subtle. Um, evenness of color. Some people like these little orange streaks. Other people like it super even. I actually like the streaks. Um, and I think it's interesting. You want no flaws or dark things right in front, you know. So that's, there are many things that will make a body expensive, or, or a hat, you know, a well-blocked hat. Somebody took this body and turned it into a nice hat, or they just, you know, bumped it up. It's not, it's not snapping, it's not fitting well, it's, you know, turning it into a nice hat is hard. It's, uh, there's a lot of pressure, you know, when you're making a thousand dollar plus hat. So, there are traditional ways to block these hats. They do it in the sun, they dry it in the sun instead of in ovens and stuff. It's, it's pretty cool. I don't know a lot about it, but uh, I know that this is a good body. So yeah, two signatures, remember the edge. Monte Cristi Fino.